All right, problem 11. All right, uh, the question says, which of the following is the value of the square root of uh, the cube root? 0 0.0000064. All right, uh, this is one of those numbers, 64, that uh, you should automatically think of 4 when you see 64 and the cube root. So you know that 4 times 4 times 4 equals 64. You just have to figure out how many zeros are in front of it. Um, the answer here is 0 0.04. And this is just one of those numbers that you, you, you have to know just by doing the problems a lot. Um, if you want to see what happens when you multiply these together, you get 16, zero, 0, because of the four uh, digits here behind the decimal. And uh, if you multiply this by 0 0.04 again, you end up with 0 0.00064. So what we know here then is that the cube root of this number is 0 0.04, We still have to take the square root of that, and uh, the square root of 4 is 2. There's a 0 in front of it, so you know that the answer is 0 0.2. Because 0 0.2 times 0 0.2 is 2 decimal points there, 0 0.04. And that is answer E. Okay. Question 12 says, raffle tickets numbered consecutively from 101 to 350 are placed in a box. When the, what is the probability that the ticket selected at random will have a number with a hundreds digit of two hundreds digit? So this here is the hundreds digit, this here is the tens digit, and this here is the ones digit. So, you know. We're looking for numbers that have a 2. Um, whenever you're looking for a probability, you have to remember that the probability is going to be a fraction. The bottom is all possibilities. And the top is going to be what you're looking for. In this case, what are all the pro different possibilities of things that you could draw out of this box? Well, there are uh, raffle tickets num number consecutively from 101 to 350. So how many raffle tickets are there? The way you set this up is you take the, the, the higher number and you subtract the lower number and you add 1 because uh, you have to remember that these numbers are inclusive so that that extra 1 here actually counts. Um, if you were to just do 350 minus 101, you would actually be missing one number. Anyway, 350 minus 101 plus 1. You can think about it as 102. And that comes out to be oops, 250. So you know that there are 250 possibilities. Now we have to count the number of, uh, of numbers that have a 2 in their hundreds digit between 101 and 350. So those numbers are going to be the number 200 all the way to 299. So how many numbers are between 200 and 299? Take 299, subtract 200, and you get, mm, actually, don't forget to add the 1, you get 100. There are 100 possibilities out of 250. Kill the zeros, 10 out of 25, and uh, divide by 5, and divide by, yeah, divide by 5. You get 2 over 5 is, as your answer, and that is A. Moving on. Number 13. When Leo imported a certain item, I like how they say that uh, he imported a certain item, um, he paid a 7% import tax on the portion of the total value of the item in excess of 1000 So anything under $1,000, he didn't pay 7%. But over $1,000, he did pay 7%. Uh, if 
the amount of import tax that Leo paid was 87.50. What was the total value of the item? So we want to find the total value. All right. Um, this is a slightly more complicated pro problem, but we can actually solve it using the exact same method that we solved one of the er earlier problems, which was uh, which is a set of ratios between the percentages. Um, you know, once you see me do it, I think it's actually going to be pretty easy. The first thing you want to do is uh, you want to take the 7% and put it over 100, because it's 7% out of 100%, and uh, set that ratio equal to 87.50 over x. Now, what is this x? This x is basically all the expenditures over $1,000. We don't know how much they spent yet, and we're trying to figure that out. So the actual number that we're going to be looking for at the very end of this equation, you know, the number we're really solving for is 1,000 plus x. That is going to be what we're looking for. But right now we're just trying to figure out what x is. Anyway, cross multiply. Uh, 100 times 8750 becomes 8750. You know, you move the decimal over two spaces. Two, two, two spaces. Uh, do division and you get x equals 1250. 1,000 plus 1250 equals 2250, and that is answer C. Number 14. Number 14 says, on Monday, a person mailed eight packages weighing an average of 12 and 3 8 pounds. And on Tuesday, this is Monday, Tuesday, uh, they mailed four packages weighing an average of 15 and a fourth pounds. What was the average weight in pounds of all the packages the person mailed on both days? Well, when they give you a mixed fraction like this, uh, I like to I like to change these uh, into simple fractions. So you do that by multiplying the big number by the bottom number and adding the top number. So, if you uh, if you set that up, what you will get is let's see here, uh, sixteen ninety six plus three. That's ninety nine over eight. And down here, five times four, sixty sixty one over four. Is that right? Yes, I think it is. Okay. So what they're saying is that. Uh, on Monday, uh, they a person mailed eight different packages, right? And the average was 99 over 8. If you want, we can set up, uh, you know, figure out what this is by setting up the, the formula used to calculate averages. Um, however many packages, you know, however, however much they weighed, we're going to represent it with x. And uh, there are eight different packages. And the average was 99 over 8. We can kill off the two denominators and get the x equals 99. Similarly, on Tuesday, we had, I'm going to use y here, y over 4 packages equals 61 over 4. Kill these off, y equals 61. So we know that uh, basically what this is telling us is that when you add all the, all the, dip, all the, all eight packages together, you get 99. When you add all four packages together from Tuesday, you get 61. All right, so you have 99 and you have 61. Um, the actual thing that you're trying to solve for here is the average weight in pounds of all the packages on both days. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the total number of uh, packages on Monday and the total number of packages, or sorry, the total weight of all the packages on Monday and the total weight of all the packages on Tuesday, and add them together and divide them by the total number of packages. 8 plus 4 is 12. And you solve for this, and you will get 160 over 12. And that is equal to 13 and 4 twelfths. Let's see if that's one of the answer choices. Nope. We are going to have to simplify 14. 13 and 4 twelfths equals 13 and 1 third, and that is one of the answer choices. In fact, that is answer choice A. 
All right. When we come back, we will be looking at uh, decimals and and uh, exponents in number fifteen. Stay tuned.